my vaccine trip to Bear Island. This is my um, project. This is, well, pretty much everything we need. But I will be telling you how I made it and why I chose the bridge over the others. And here's, uh, since the other people at the island can't uh, make a bridge to uh, connect with mine, I got these cargo helicopters. Now, they're going to fly over the bridge all the way and to their side and my side. We're going to test out with these cups. They're uh, about six of them, but we're going to only use three because that's how many it can uh, carry. Or it can carry more. It's just space. There we go. That's two. And that's three. Now, let's see... Maybe you could do that. That, that. Okay, so it can carry exactly six without my help. Now, that's good, but can it carry a vaccine, though? And while they supposedly carry the vaccine, it'll be over there. When they land it, it's going to be a pretty rough landing. So I will be telling you how I will cover this vaccine, and I may or may not even use a balloon to cover it. Or I may use... This, if you don't know what this is, it's a mask. And I c I'm going to maybe use a sponge to um, uh, soften the impact. My challenge is to find a transportation solution to deliver a vaccine from the Bay Area to Kogar Island. But the problem is that the island is surrounded by rocks so that no boats can reach. The island is also surrounded um, is also small so that no planes can land. I chose to deliver the vaccine by parachute. For my parachute to work, it has to create drag and go down slowly so the vaccine does not get damaged. In trial one, the distance traveled was 12.5 feet. The distance dropped was seven feet, and the vaccine did get damaged because the wind made the, made the vaccine drop into the water, damaging it. Because the vaccine got dam the parachute and the vaccine got damaged in trial one, we made another one with heavier materials and a heavier vaccine. The distance traveled was 7.5 feet. The distance dropped was seven feet, and the vaccine did get damaged again because the contents spilled because of the high wind. In trial three, we changed the location of where the parachute would land because to minimize the effects of the high winds. The distance traveled was seven feet. The distance dropped was also seven feet, but the vaccine did not get damaged. The vaccine also dragged about three feet to the ground, so it met all the expectations, meaning it was a success. Hot air balloon for the um, delivering the vaccine.